verse 18. Verse 18. Are we there? For those who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, they have doctrine, they are inside the church, but they do not serve Jesus Christ. How can we explain that? Where do you notice those who cause persecutions in different doctrines? In the church, they cause divisions. They are against the doctrine. So Paul says, whoever goes against the doctrine that I preach does not love Jesus Christ and does not serve Jesus Christ, even if he preaches Jesus Christ. There are many people that I hear preaching Jesus Christ and with the zeal that they do, sometimes show more zeal than I do. But they do not love Jesus Christ because understanding that I tell them the truth, they oppose seek their own and love it says here that they love what but their own belly how can you serve the womb imagine me saying Jesus Christ with one offering made you perfect forever then you say you understand and say here Jesus Christ with one offering made me perfect for a little while and what is forever that my spirit is perfect forever. But then a thought comes to you and says, if I say that to the church, then they don't take it seriously. And they can go and sin. So what happens? That you are already looking at a truth that you must tell. But because of your fears, and for fear that people will leave the church, So you say, wait for it, because he serves his belly, not the truth. But not me, I tell you what it says there, because I am not serving my belly, I am serving God. So when I read something, and for example, if the Bible says to me, inasmuch as we the children have partaken of flesh, our spirit has partaken of flesh, he also did the same. In Mary's womb, he partook of flesh. A body was formed to be among us to destroy the devil. Then I asked myself, to destroy the devil? Then the devil is destroyed. The devil does not exist. When did he die and destroy it? 2,000 years ago. I mean, the devil existed, but 2,000 years ago, he doesn't exist. But then if I tell the church that the devil does not exist... Don't you see that within the church, there are people who are afraid of the devil? So it is not in my best interest to tell the church that. And what I say is, brother, to destroy the devil, let's get on with the service. But I don't explain it. You are complete in him and lack nothing. I lack nothing. I no longer have to say, Lord, come and complete the work in me, renew me. But you are not lacking anything. If I read the Bible to you, it says, he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Am I one spirit with the Lord and the Lord is perfect? Yes. And am I one spirit with the Lord? Yes. Hey, then I am truly blessed. But I do not explain. He who joins himself to the Lord, one spirit is with him. But behave yourself, brother. 